Next action. 210039, congratulating Park Avenue Missionary Baptist Church on their 100th year anniversary. Darlene Freeman is present to receive the special action. Councilwoman Lohr. They all left. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. First of all, I want to apologize to the Reverend Gregory, Gregory Stevens, who was here for over an hour waiting on us to get finished with our business session. He had to leave. Uh, but today, we're celebrating the Park Avenue Men Missionary Baptist Church um, and it, its 100th anniversary. Um, it was organized on February 9th, 1921, with the Reverend T.H. Ewing as its first pastor, and worship took place at the home of its members. Um, I've done that myself, actually. Uh, way back in my childhood, my family started a church, and my mother started a church in our home, a Baptist church. Uh, but whereas the, um, the Park Avenue Missionary Baptist Church, first church home, was constructed at 19th and Highland, with its first service taking place on the second Sunday in May in 1921. And whereas uh, Park Avenue uh, Missionary Baptist Church relocated to 19th and Park in 1955 and to its current location in 1970, which is 3601 Jackson. Uh, the Park Avenue Baptist Church celebrated its 59th year with the burning of its mortgage and laying a cornerstone celebrating the congregation uh, being completely debt free. And as of today, it has done that with each of its buildings. Um, and I will tell you, that's something to, to be proud of. Um, we um, content, they continually, uh, they continue to grow numerically and spiritually uh, with ministries such as sick and shut in ministries. Um, <coughs> hospitality ministries, health and wellness, pastoral care, congregational care, media ministries, divine angels, praise dance, divas in Christ junior mission, women's ministries, vacation Bible school, praise and worship ministries, scholarship ministries, uh, children's church, be children's church, beautification ministries, and junior ushers ministries. So uh, for a church to go on for a hundred years, no debt uh, financially and still growing as it is. I would like to congratulate um, Reverend Gregory, Gregory Stevens on his accomplishments and his works at the uh, Missionary Baptist Church and congratulate uh, our employee Darlene Freeman for not only being a member but being a great person here at, at uh, City Hall. Thank you. Thank you Councilwoman Laura. Are there are others which speak to the resolution. Councilwoman Robinson. Um, thank you Mr. Mayor. Thank you Councilwoman Lord, for um, sponsoring this and recognizing the 100th anniversary. It really demonstrates that we're one city and we don't have to be bound by districts and boxes and lanes and things of that nature. So we really appreciate you and um, for honoring uh, Park Avenue Missionary Baptist Church, growing stronger, serving greater. Um, they're located at 3601 Jackson Avenue in Kansas City, Missouri, 64128 and Gregory Stevens is the pastor. Happy anniversary. Um, and I would like to invite my colleagues to uh, go and visit the church when church opens back up, um, especially if you want to be close to the spirit, because I've been there many times and they really know how to have church. Um, the book of Matthew 5, 14, um, Jesus is quoted saying, ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Park Avenue Missionary Baptist Church has always been that bright light on a hill for the third district. Pastor Stevens and I always talk about that hill that you all are on right there on Jackson Avenue. You've been leading in mission and ministry for 100 years, and thank you so much for sharing your light. The African American church historically has provided a safe haven for its members and has been a source of relief as we grapple with the troubles of this world. The church not only provides a cover, but also provides the courage to make the systemic change that we all are seeking. So more about Pastor Stevens' leadership at Park Avenue Church. He 
continues to guide its members and residents to work for social justice and reform by voting to change some of the issues and the ills of our community. I have seen Pastor Stevens in action. He's an encouraging and an encourager of young people, and he's always there to help people through, young people specifically through, her, through humor and real talk. Um, and letting them know that they can really achieve their dreams and to serve their community. So in closing, um, I'm reminded of uh, Professor Anthea Butler with the University of Pennsylvania in her book, God in America, the Black Church. It really sums up the ministry of Park Avenue Baptist Church. In the pulpit and the pews, in the choir lofts and the Sunday schools, the black church continues to offer affirmation and dignity to, to people still searching for equality and justice, still willing to reach out for a more inclusive, embracing tomorrow. So happy anniversary. Thank you for serving for 100 years. That is a real feat. Thank you, Councilwoman Robinson. Are there others who wish to speak to the resolution? I will say very simply before this position, I still go in this position, but I was the third district large council member. Uh, you know, the, the new dude has more hair, but you know, I was fresh back then. Uh, but I had the chance to make it to Park Avenue Baptist Church uh, on a number of occasions. And one of the things that I loved about the community was how involved they were in the neighborhoods around them and the community around them. And one fact that Councilwoman Laura Red can give you that, which is they started at 19th and Highland, 19th and Park, 36th and Jackson. They have been in the core of our city for decades, for generations. As a time when many, many have gone other places, they've said, we're going to have our roots here, our foundation here, and we're going to uplift a community that often has people that are trying to flee. I say thank you so much to you, the parishioners who have cared, who have reached out, who have grown, and thank you for praying for all of us, because I know y'all do every Sunday, probably every day, and we appreciate it. Are there others who wish to speak to the resolution? Can, I'll add you, okay, and we'll make sure that uh, Councilman Allington is added as a uh, co-sponsor on the resolution. If there are no others who wish to speak to the resolution, the resolution is now before council. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All opposed? The resolution is adopted. Darlene, you get to yell at us. <laughs> Thank you, thank you on the behalf of my pastor, Gregory Stevens, and the members of the Park Avenue Missionary Baptist Church. We want to thank you, and my mayor, just, just thank you, and I'm accepting this at a, you know, go ahead, you can do it moment, but I appreciate it. We appreciate it. A hundred years, I've always been at Park Avenue, I can't tell you how long, but I've always been a member of this church, and we just want to thank you. Make it back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Picture.